and welcome back to the Outer Worlds Wicked Storm Gaming. We'll deal with you lot later. I feel like this is the part of the quest we were actually supposed to be doing. Here we And I want to go and do the side quest, but with the finding all of her comrades and the killing and the burying and the whatnot. So I'm taking off. I'll be back. Can I fast travel back here, actually, before I leave? Yeah, I can. Double peaks on it. Fantastic. Well, there are mantis swarms around here. They're not getting through. Roar! Kill that thing before it loads in. Why is it loading in? Why is it dead yet? It is dead. Hooray! We leveled up. Oh, shit. Right. Oh, cool. I really want to try out that gun you got. Yeah. I give it back. I just want to test it. Do-do-do-do with that crazy fucking thing. Still does a thousand. Even... No. Hold on. Equip for mine for now you can use mine which I did fully upgrade I gotta give you that hmm it's really weird why can't I give you that Because it wasn't fully repaired? If there's a thing, then that's not the one I upgraded. There you go. Now you got it. Fun times and Magnum. I just want to play with hers for a bit, because hers does a thousand fucking damage. Also, I've completely forgot uh, skill points. Oopsie poopsies. Mm. It throws up numbers so fast I can't tell what the hell damage I'm doing. I've never had that problem before with a gun. Thank you. There's just a lot of them. Also, not even remotely the same helmet that guy was wearing, but fuck it, why not? Scale points available, yay! Feel like I need them in hacking and shit. Where the hell am I? Hold on. I got sidetracked somehow. We need to go down. The Manta Queen. Perfect. Seventy-one. Seventy-one. I can't switch out things now. She's in. Uh, we're in combat. Pretty nice, not gonna lie. But I don't understand why it does more damage than the other ones. Is this a Mark III or something? What is this? Hold on. Do, 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 put it on. Uh, light machine gun. It seems exactly the same. Light machine gun, Mark II. Now, this isn't even a Mark II. This is just a special machine gun for her, isn't it? 22 to equip that. Level 18. Huh. So it's just a higher level gun? I mean, okay. Why not? Level 15. God, that's lame. 12, 18, level 20, 21. Man, these. Kind of sucked, a lot of them. 22. So it's just a regular fucking one that's just a it happens to be a higher level. Look, quartz pile. Neat. This is where we're going. 
No, different corpse pile. I think. Who's with these scientists? Just always out in the middle of nowhere, dead. This many of them are dying heading out. You think they'd stop sending scientists? Unfiltered air, rocks in my shoes, risky choke points, all the things I hate about mountains. Why don't you just take your shoe off and dump out the rocks? Almost like we don't have working lifts or roads. Wraps. Let's clear the sulfur sodden fucks out so Hayes can rest in peace. God damn, that's a lot of damage. Right on, we're running. Where are you burning? Oh, you're melting. Right, 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 right. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Okay. Well, I mean, we did it. What's up? We cleared the area. What's with the pleasantries? You want to know something, just ask. Okay, how the hell do you find pink hair dye in this quarantined off place? Um, I didn't. I was born into security detail. And when the corporations abandoned this place, I stayed. Hmm. That's all I know. Besides, I had a few friends here and they were staying too. You know, this thing said my controller was gonna die like three episodes ago, and it has it's still fucking going. Uh fair enough. What's up? Sure. I don't have a single spot I call home. Wherever I can sit in peace with a bottle is good enough for me. But yes, I've always been on Monarch. Hmm. In a sense. My parents took off when the corporations did. I took to companionship with a few friends here for a time, but those days are long past. Oh. No, we weren't close. And before you ask, there ain't a story there. We just never saw eye to eye on the corporations. Drifted apart over time. It's fine. Almost weird to hear someone not have a tragic, dramatic backstory. It ain't exactly easy to hitch a ride off planet, Captain. Really? And besides, I hear. Maybe I got my own spaceship, so. Wait, I've been going all over the damn place. In their ilk, think I prefer the beasts. Hmm. All right then. Good. Hey, to the ship. Why would I send her to the ship? Never mind. Okay. Thought maybe you'd have something to say about how we just killed everything. Then. Yeah, examine. Ooh. Buried in the surface, Harry's created a small lockbox. Its hinges rusted through, and its wood almost completely rotted. It nearly falls apart in your hands, but in it you manage to find a turn, silver value, and a charm. Neat. Oh, give it to you. Okay. Hayes was the best self sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now, if we're going to lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2. We never heard from them again. What? I think it's time. I have to leave planet? Hiram. If anyone can track them down, it's him. All right. Okay. I don't know much about it. It paid well, so they took it. They said they'd be back in a couple of weeks and that maybe we could all use the money to get off Monarch. That was a long time ago. I have no idea what's up there, Dad. Hmm. I should have. I. I really should have. Well, you didn't even try? Soon after they left, Hayes and the others died. Ah. Uh. And to be honest, after him, I... I stopped trying. Because it hurt like hell to do so. Kinda feel like that's probably explaining something about the drinking. Um... Thanks. I'm still not convinced I won't come to regret it, but... We've started down this path. Might as well see it through. Maybe it'll stop me screaming at night. Now, come on. Let's make tracks before Hiram dies of old age. You know... If you're screaming at night, if we could take care of that before you get on the enclosed ship with the not-soundproofed rooms, that'd probably be for the best. 
Anywho, I don't know if you can become a companion. I'm tempted to keep this gun until I know for sure. Just because it kind of kicks ass and I don't want to lose it. It's the only thing I've seen that is a thousand fucking whatever the fuck's a second. Yep, yep. Ooh, that was a bad leg. Okay. Show him. Oh shit, there's a lot of people here. Oh, shot right through her ass. That guy got fucked. Hey, check this out. It's kind of weird to get them all in, uh, or both them and their target in the same frame. Is that another goddamn flamethrower? things recharging right hello corpse rider construction gear neat 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 I think it must be the fire I keep hearing something that sounds like insect wings and that's not a happy sound and not on this planet that's a terrible sound and that's a death mm. all right where are we going Ooh, whoopsies. Alright, back up we go. Already searched this. I'm not gonna edit this bit out unless these people want to talk about something interesting. Well, we ain't responsible for the interior, so I guess you get to party without us. Good the luck, fighting stranger. fighting ain't gonna get easier on the inside. Best hurry before the marauders regroup. We'll keep watch out here. Okay. Yeah, they did. I mean, they just had this whole little chunk out here to pretend like that didn't happen. Okay. We're back. Now we can use the elevator. He's up there. The elevator dude was over here. Hello. Sneaky. Sneak, damn you. This way it is. On fire, ladies and gents. Light him on fire. Oh dear. Well, that sounds problematic. Something's not right. Uh -oh. Quick, everybody! Just start shooting. Waste of oh well. Waste of company ammo. Waste of company ammo. Luigi, you died in an unfortunate situation, didn't you? Stay down, miscreant. Miscreant. Uh, who was that? Hello? What was that? Get him! Well, I thought you guys were only covering the outside. Wait a minute. Hmm. Weird. Turn right on, reloading. Always gotta reload. Killing an awful lot of people without me. Sorry, what? Did uh burn all the word to fuck uh die? What was that about being weak? Shithead? Man why why did his there's two of him! Where'd uh, Bernard and them go? Oh, he died. Fun times. Oh, white broomed hat. <gasps> Hold on. You. Hat. That fucking works, man. With the vest? It's beautiful. I love it. It tames the crazy pink hair just a tad. It's great. Wait, I saw that. Knock knock. Ah, Marauder free at last. I'll get 
get the door. Do hurry on in. Kind of wish those C3 guys just stayed outside. Ew, whatever. It's not stealing. Which means it's free. God damn, another flamethrower. Alright, this is the guy you wanted to talk to. Go ahead and talk to him. I'm just uh, robbing his ass just real quick. Like, why is this all red and spooky? Hello. Now, Mr. Broke Ass. Whoopsies. Out of the C3s. I ought to have simply dealt with you in the first place. Wasn't around, but yeah. Oh no, my business is in trade. Not owing others the burden of a favor. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But, I admit, I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow I think there's a couple reasons. In another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? Yeah. Certain information broker. Ah, yes. Our little chat on the intercom. You're looking for the premier broker for all of Monarch, which you knew was me, clearly. Phineas Did I? sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts always. Hmm. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. Careful, I know that line. I use it all the time. I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. Hmm. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. No fucking joy. Exactly what I was thinking. They hurt us all with their pettiness. Which, of course, has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extra planetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. Hmm. My former partner, Sanjar, transmits from his office in MSI's headquarters in the center of town. Don't let him try to fool you. While his messages might seem like gibberish, they are in reality coded business orders to off-world companies. Really? I understand why he needs the bandwidth, but we had a deal and he's broadcasting ceaselessly. All right. We'll continue this conversation next time. For now, like it if you liked it, subscribe if you want, share it if you can, and do what you want. I'll see you next time. Have fun.